Kalani Tires was in Kalaniya, next to Biagama, my electorate. And when I became Minister of Industries, I realized we do have to close this down. Kalani Tires had its own name. During Mrs. Bandarnaka's time, we were entitled to two tires a year. And they were both from Kalani. So all our vehicles had two Kalani retailer tires and two new tires. So we could never forget Kalani and its old technology. And a decision then was made that I said, let us sell off Kalani tires. So we went ahead and we asked for the usual process, procedures, and then the bids came in. Chanaka was the first, but President Premadas for some reason didn't like it. So then came the second time. Second time also you were the first. So I'm the minister in charge, he didn't like it. So I said, sir, I can't go on giving reasons. Third time was also the same. At that stage, I said, we have to take a decision. Tell the country and the World Bank and the IMF whether we are choosing the best bid or whether we are choosing the Maharajas or industry. So, Chanaka, you got the factory, but my house got burnt. <laughs> that is the short story of how it came in. It was only the beginning. The trade unions, I tried to persuade them, look, this is a bad situation, we'll have to close it down. But this big fight went on and we had a lot of issues getting support for the uh, company to carry on. And they had to close down. Even the Jatika Sayaka Sangame, they came to me. I said, look, either you got to close it down or you just got to uh, let it go ahead. Next stage was Syat and Kalini coming together. That was a marriage made in Balapitiya. The Silvas and the Soisa decided <laughs> they'll get together. I must say another story. Chanaka's father, Arati, in the early 60s, was a member of the SLFP and was representing Mr. C.P. De Silva. Ajit Swad and Tilak Swad, VT, was a member of the UNP and the member of our working committee. Mrs. Bandar Nayaka decided to take over Lake House Press. My father was the managing director. So my father and uh, Ajit Swad and Chanaka's father got together, brought Mrs. Bandar Nayaka down and made Mr. Dudley Senanayaka, the Prime Minister, in the 1965 election. <laughs> so that is how our connections go back. In the process, Mahindra's father lost the election. <laughs> <laughs> so any case, the two companies came and then they have got together. We are now commemorating, celebrating the 25th anniversary. Congratulations. <laughs> but don't stop here. I am going to ask you to be more competitive. This is not enough. You have to export more. You have to expand the factory. This is a good example of Indo-Lanka cooperation. To those who want to come into Sri Lanka, this is a success story. And how we can go ahead. So I would look at uh, Siat Kalani, not merely as the enterprise which rose up from the ashes, but also one of the future. How Indians and Sri Lankan certainly can work together. To the Goenkas, I must here appreciate the work they have done in making it a success. They cannot come here because they had a wedding of the Mahindra group. Well, they didn't want to have it here because Mahindra group has a factory anyway in uh, Mathugama. So we are all there as one family and it shows their stories. We are shows that we in Sri Lanka can get together with India and I hope this paves the way for many more industries and ventures from India to come together. Thank you for what you've done and I hope the next 25 years we show you to be a very competitive exporter of Sri Lankan goods. Thank you.